It's finally time for an anticipated book review. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is October and October means the release of Sarah Ella's debut novel coming out October 11th. Sarah Ella asked me if I would like to receive an advanced reader copy of her book Unblemished and do a review for it. Now, of course, I said yes, absolutely. I would love to. I was so excited to do this for Sarah Ella and so, so happy that she asked me to do it. So here it is, my review of Unblemished by Sarah Ella. Unblemished is Sarah Ella's debut novel and her first book in a series that I don't know how many books it's going to be or what this series is called, the Unblemished series. I'm not too sure. I do know it is a first book though because of the way it ended. So it is the first book and her debut novel. Sarah Ella has sent me this for a free and honest review. So this is going to be all of my own opinion and a honest review of a book. I was actually kind of apprehensive to be reviewing Sarah Ella's book because I've never been asked by an author to review their book and an author that I'm sort of friends with and I do consider Sarah Ella a friend. We met here on booktube and Sarah Ella was actually my first friend I've met on booktube. So I was really, really excited when she asked me if I wanted to review her book Unblemished. I wasn't even too sure like what happens if I don't like this book, what happens if I'm love this book what I just I wasn't too sure how I was going to feel about this book so I went into this really apprehensively but I also went into this kind of blindly I kind of went into this book just knowing the basic premise of this book but not wanting to know too much more about it for this book I actually went in it with very medium expectations I wasn't too sure if I was going to like the type of book it was and I was just really apprehensive of reviewing a friend's book and being scared what if I didn't like it and I have to tell my friend I didn't like it. So having going in there with like mid expectations, my expectations were blown out of the water. I really really enjoyed this book and I really liked the story and I loved where she went with it. I also love knowing Sarah Ella as a reader as well as an author and seeing how she implemented what she loves in books into her own story and as a reader what she wants to see in a story she put it into her own story and getting to know Sarah Ella through her channel and her social media you really get to see a lot of her and her own feelings and her own heart put into this book so the book follows our main character Elle who is born with a birthmark on the side of her face and kind of thinks of herself as ugly tries to hide who she is tries to hide her face and kind of tries to stay in the background of life the book opens with Elle having lost her mom and a lot of the emotion that went in this first chapter kind of played off of Sarah Ella's real life experience and it was actually really hard to read this beginning of this book because you could really feel Sarah Ella's own emotions as she wrote this first part of losing her mom and she had lost her mom and the main character loses her mom and it was just kind of overwhelming because you knew this from Sarah Ella and it was just you really felt the emotions that the author put into this. So it starts off with Lulu losing her mom and then she gets dragged into this whole new world where there is reflections of different worlds so she's in like the third reflection and then there's a second reflection and there's different reflections in these different worlds she's taken into this other reflection into this other world where what she deemed ugly as her birthmark is actually the symbol of salvation and freedom for this world so she goes into this world where people see her scar as a symbol of freedom a symbol of hope and a symbol that good can come out of this and their salvation from this dark terror that is reigning on this world and she's so used to seeing it as something to hide. There is also two main guy characters. There's Joshua which she's known for several years now and then Kai who she just meets. I really liked the characters. I found them super relatable and super interesting. I loved too how with the whole unblemished theme Sarah Ella went with just all of her characters in that way. Of course our main character has her birthmark which is seen as a blemish as a disfigurement in our reflection in our world and one of the main guy characters Kai is actually described with really bad acne so he has his own disfigurement and blemishes as well so his characters aren't perfect and I really like that her characters weren't perfect and the guys weren't these gorgeous amazing guys and you know Mr. Perfect YA brooding hero dude. So I really liked how Sarah Ella implemented that whole unblemished 
theme. Some other themes I went throughout the book was the battle between the Void and the Verities. So the Void and the Verity and the way they described the battle between the Verity and the Void was actually really really fascinating and really interesting and I loved how she pulled that in. It had a very very subtle faith element built in there as well so I really liked how the Verity and the Void is kind of this main battle in the background and it was just awesome. So with this main battle and being in this other reflection, her world building was actually kind of confusing at first and just kind of overwhelming, but she really pulled it all together and I really enjoyed the world that she created. It kind of had a medieval-esque theme, but with modern elements because you're pulling in different elements from all the different reflections. So it's kind of a combination of worlds and you understand that there's different worlds and different reflections. So it had that New York modernness to it, but at the same time this fantastical fictional fantasy world so I really liked how that was all pulled together as well. Now there was actually quite a few side characters and quite a few characters that it did a couple moments get me lost of who's who, who's related to who, and where they all connected somehow. Like it just got a little overwhelming at some points but the side characters are also really um, well developed, well in taking care of they weren't just kind of thrown in there another thing that was in that book that is either hit or miss for me is a love triangle and Sarah Ella has said a couple of times in her videos that she actually doesn't mind a love triangle if it's done right so of course she implemented a love triangle at first I'm like Ugh, love triangles why this one was one that was done right I was actually really excited about how this love triangle played out and I actually really liked how it was done and the love triangle isn't like oh I can't choose between the two of them what can I do there's two hot guys fighting up for me it wasn't like that at all which I really appreciated I'm leaning totally toward one way but I found it so interesting how she did it and I'm just just kind of dying inside here just so ready for the next book because I need to know what happens to these characters. My one complaint out of all of this is toward the end there's a lot of connection between the main characters and the villains and just how everybody is connected to the Verity's vessel and the void and just all these main characters are somehow connected and it got super confusing to the point of I had to actually go back a couple pages and just kind of reread to figure out where I was and who was connected to who and how that even worked out. It just got really overlapping and connecting wise. It was a little bit of muddled at the end but once you figure it all out it's actually a really cool and really fascinating ending so I'll be interested to see how that pulls into the second book. But honestly out of the entire book that was my one complaint is that I got confused toward the end and you might not but I did. So for content rating I would actually guarantee it a clean read. I put, almost put it on the mild content side as well so there was a little bit in there but it was so little and it wasn't much and it just didn't affect anything that I wasn't too overly concerned about it. There is slight slight nudity but these characters are shapeshifters so they move from their animal form to their human form and when they go to their human form they're naked and that doesn't seem to bother anybody except for Elle who's from a different reflection and it's very brief so it's it was there but it was only there for like three events and it was like barely there so just heads up for that if that bothers you but it was relatively clean otherwise there was a couple instances where Ella's walking through New York and she's scared about getting um, a guy getting what he wants from her but that's kind of how it was said it wasn't even described of like getting grabbed and getting raped or anything so it was really um, light-hearted the truth was still there the content was still there it wasn't so glazed over that it was lame it was just really well written and really well done so I give it like a mild content but more on the clean sides. I gave it a five star rating on Goodreads just because of the ending, how I was blown away with that and how I'm just excited and the excitement for the second book has built up and just loving the world that she created and loving how I see an author who is a reader implement what she loves as a reader into a book and the fantastic characters and the build-up for the second book. So keep it coming, Sarah Ella. I'm so excited for the second book. I can't wait. Unblemished is out October 11th, you guys. Go pick it up. 
Unblemished is the coffee chapters in Christian YA book pick of the month for our Goodreads group. So pick that up, read along with us for the month of October, and we'll see you at the live show at the end of October once we announce the date and join us and have a chat with the author herself, Sarah Ella. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!